What is up my ninjas, Dark Frog Ninja here, just doing a quick last end of December update. Uh, just want to go over a few things, nothing nothing uh, too grand, no changes really. As you can hear, the biopod is loud, the fan, it gets louder than this, believe me. Um, let's just take a listen. Hear that? Yeah, that's the fan, it gets a whole lot louder than that at times, but uh, sometimes it goes silent, I don't know. Like I said... The Biopod's been kind of a letdown as far as parts-wise. I love the idea of it and uh, some of the technology, but the parts themselves are pretty eh, breaking down. I don't know if I really want to, you know, go through the trouble of draining it and replacing it and getting a hold of the customer service is another thing. So, and there is Zed right there. Look at you, Zed. Let's get you back in focus here. Come on, focus. All right, so that's Zed. My big female. One of the newer frogs. Constantine is back there. And then one of the other newer frogs is by her. Like I said, it looks like three males. Uh, and her. I haven't seen any eggs yet. I feel like she's ready to go. Um, I'm going to do vitamin A dusting this week for them. And uh, give it a go. Uh, I've, if you could, as you can see, I have trimmed their viv back. Um, so everything's looking good. All, all their plants are doing really well, so I will say that about the biopod. It does great for growing plants. Um, I do need to get up there and uh, trim that, because there is a bromeliad up here. And I just saw something now, guys. Uh, I have not seen this. Well, let's see if I can get both folks. And I just discovered this as I was talking to you all now. Let's see if I can get you in frame here. This center frame... Oops, I let the plant go center frame right here, right where my fingertip is pointing. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right here. Yeah, right here. This this right here is a bromeliad pup. Um, I had no idea I had one, so that's pretty cool. Um, so it's popping up from my bromeliad that's in here, so that's really neat. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to close this because you all think it's feeding. Even I fed you this morning. I fed them flies dusted with herptivite. Um, I'm off schedule because of the holidays, so I didn't uh, feed them on Wednesdays. Usually I don't feed them on Thursdays. I feed them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and depending on what I feed them, sometimes once on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Um, uh, sometimes not, not until Monday. It depends on what I feed them. If I feed them crickets, I feed them Friday, and then I don't feed them anything until Monday. But um, they're doing great. Um, definitely love it. They call every day. Constantine calls every day, and then one of these two, I think, calls some now too so hi hey there bud so there you go there's there they are and I got some great moss action happening there and it's growing up the size of the log and everywhere so this is doing well and I did put leaf litter in um, up front because the sheet moss is pretty much dead up here um, and then the pillow moss is dead so I put some leaf litter up here just to add to the leaf litters it looks really great when you have new leaf litter in. I love it so there's new leaf litter abound um, their pool here is full of uh, I know it looks dirty, but that's algae as well as um, as well as well uh, java moss I threw in there. It's growing, and it just absorbs everything. It's pretty neat, pretty natural. It smells, the water smells great. It doesn't, it's not stinky, um, and they enjoy sitting in it from time to time, so pretty cool. That's what uh, having a little shallow water dish is great for, and, and dark frog, uh, they sit, they, they, they soak in it every now and then, um, you know, get drinks. All that good stuff so there you go there's the mints doing well love these guys i got some uh new macro lenses so if you follow my pages uh instagram and my uh dart frog ninja and my facebook page dart frog ninja you'll see some great macro shots some very up close shots that i was able to take with my iphone and the macro lens i do have a new camera coming tomorrow so there'll be even more pictures coming now let's move over to these guys my Kataris. You all are awesome little frogs. So let's get a good that's a good shot right there. Look at look at that. I don't even want to move right now because this is this is an amazing shot I'm getting of him. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit more. That's it. Oh, and there's a fly. So that's an amazing shot that I got of them. Let's see, I'm gonna try and back this up a little bit. Let's 
see if I can get them in frame here. There they are. There's, there are all three of them. So, uh, they're doing really well. They're, they're hogs. Uh, I can't leave these doors open because they come right up to the edge of the glass and I'm afraid that they're going to jump out. Uh, they don't know any better that there's nothing beyond this. Um, and I don't want to lose them because if I do, they'll be harder to catch. They are smaller, they are faster, um, and then they can get into holes and there's a vent down here that I don't want them to jump. They go down that, it's so game over um, for them. So uh, that's why I'm a little bit careful with them. Uh, I did take a macro shot today, so check my Facebook and my Instagram. Uh, I did my best as I could as I was feeding them. I got them distracted, so I did the best I could do. Um, they are great, though. These are beautiful frogs. I can't wait. They're going to get about as big as my mints um, right now. These guys are probably about four to five months out of the water. Um, they're snapping up high day flies now, so which is great. Uh, so uh, I love that. I'm in here as far as that goes. I'm going to keep, kind of keep an eye on them because they, they will come over here because they think it's feeding time. I fed them again this morning. So uh, In here, the moss is doing great. And if you can see these guys, uh, I know there's a little poop in the background there. Um, with a springtail, I just saw crawling on it. Um, if you if you see center frame here, I know it's kind of hard to see, but the little leafy plant right there in the top left corner on the log, that came from the moss mix. So it's some kind of plant that came in it. It might be a type of fern, I don't know, but I'm going to let it grow. I love it. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as the back wall goes, the moss is doing great. Um, I like this. I got this from um, <laughs> from uh, Any Herp a couple years ago. Uh, a couple years ago, because I used the same background as my mints, because I it's clean, I cleaned everything, and uh, I had it wouldn't grow very much, and then it went dormant, and I had it stored dormant, and then I came back and I set this new setup up, got it wet, got it moist, got the new light in, and look, it's taken off, it's growing again. I I wish I had more of that, so it's good. But I have more of the dust mix, which is doing good. The moss is a little pale, but uh, it's growing, so I like that. But uh, these guys are doing good, again. I'm being super careful with with them, but they are gorgeous frogs. Like I can't get over how gorgeous they are. I love my mints. Don't get me wrong. I don't gush over how cool they are um, enough. I I think, but these frogs are just striking. Look at that view. Some of the greatest views I've gotten of them. But uh, I have a new camera coming. It should be here tomorrow. I'll, I'll go into that. I have some things coming up too, which is going to be cool. I might expand my channel a little bit more. Uh, do some product reviews. Uh, get the dart discussion going again. And then I was thinking, guys, if you're interested, uh, I, I am uh, an avid herper, bird watcher, all that type of stuff. I go out looking for nature. Um, I was thinking about expanding my channel, including those walks, um, getting a GoPro Hero, using my new camera and this camcorder and setting it up and having uh, walks uh, and going and doing stuff like that and uh, bringing you guys along so you could see uh, what I do. Um, so I have exciting stuff coming up this year. I'll go into that stuff later on. But uh, that's it. I just wanted to do a quick update for now. This is it. Look at that. I'm going to end it right here. With this great view. Let's pull it back a little bit. Pull it back. There we go. Oh, sorry. I got a little greedy there. I'm trying to see if I tap that a little bit. There you go. Yeah, right there. We'll do this. All right, I'm going to end it right here, guys. I'm going to say I hope you all have Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Amazing Kwanzaa, and any other holiday I might not have mentioned. I hope you all did that. Happy New Year, guys. You'll hear from me again in, in the beginning of the new year in 2019. I hope everybody has a happy and safe one. Stay safe. Love your frogs. Love your family. And this is Dark Frog Ninja saying, Frog on. <laughs>